Everybody, welcome back. It's nine. Well, it's, it, it, let's give me some credit. I'm, I'm at work early. It's 8.52 a.m. on a Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Atmospheric pressure, I don't know, feels normal. Cold as heck, though. It's 7 degrees Celsius today. That's not that cold in, like, a broad sense. Like, you know, you could get... that. That's, like, warmer than your refrigerator, for example. Um... But when you consider that it's like the second week of October and we had a 40 degree Celsius heat wave like two months ago, it's a little surprising. We got the heavier shirts on today. Um, playing some Super Auto Pets, I gotta let you know, I, I played a little on my phone last night. I got a 10 win Marty. I went 10 3 with a stacked hippo, a level two rooster with a tiger behind, a dog. That was just like chilling. He was just a vestige of an earlier time. I can't remember what, what we had in position two. It was doing something, though. It was doing some kind of work. But it just goes to show you, you know. Uh, a hippo is, is good enough. Sp uh, I'm stupid. I'll be the fatherly... Um, I'll be the uncertain astronauts. It's just a good name. Now, if you go real quick, whoo, you might be able to get that. Because I wasted a gold, Okay. The expected value of one reroll when you have one gold left is not that high, but it's like the thought that counts. This is a loss. No, it's a win. No, it's a tie. <laughs> it's a win! Let's go! I don't know how to do math. Um, that's fine. It's fine, man. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's a good idea to buy a beaver. That way we, we sell it back next time. We get some yield. This is like a gimme. Um, I, I think it, it comes down to whether you want to lose this round or uh, at, at the reward of putting yourself in a great position for the future. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so my, my general principle here when we're full up, okay, the duck is to... Here's how it goes, okay? Next turn, we combine our fish. We're going to get them. The fish is going to become a level two. It's going to... Go across the board, give everybody a nice buff. We're going to sell our duck. Our tier three unit that we unlock is then going to be plus one, plus one, which is very good. That's that's a bit of a force multiplier, if you will. Um, we're going to give you an apple because we have nothing else to do right now, really. Uh, and, and we're going to recognize that this is a higher chance of losing this round for a better chance to be well positioned from this point onwards. We kind of get a two for one. Like we got 1.9 and then we kill you. And then you two for one me. I think this is a... I think this is a win. Would you believe it? It's just the, the value of a fish, man. It's it's kind of like a nothing unit, but it does some serious work for you in the in the in the right circumstances. So we're we're begging freeze me for a fish I'm, I'm going as deep as it needs to go we don't care for these units at some point if we don't get a fish we got to start thinking what the world holds for us and I think something you can do you can combine fish buy a shrimp Sell a duck, buy a peacock, probably place it, I think we want to set it up like this now, and then roll one more time. So I'm not exactly like thrilled with the way this went, but we are up 2-0. We didn't get to our level 3, which is a bummer. But a 2-6 Peacock early, I mean, it beats a 1-5 Peacock. Nice nice 2 for 1, hit the ant. Hit the ant, you piece. Let's go! Wasted buff. <laughs> Alright, I'm not, I'm not worried about the Peacock getting buffed. We knew that it was going to be strong enough, like, regardless. Now, you... I think this is a draw, which is actually... Whew, is actually pretty great when you consider... Um, that our roles were a disaster. And I believe I'm using the term appropriately. One thing you can do, and it depends 
how funky you want to get, right? So a shrimp, when you sell a unit, it gives plus one HP to somebody. It depends how deep you want to go, okay? I think we can afford to do this. That's not what we're looking for, but it allows us to roll a shrimp a little bit more prodigiously, I suppose. I think we want to roll this squad right here. Don't combine them, for the love of God. Um, this is a very weird setup, for sure. Um, but we're, we're, we kind of skipped our Tier 3 uh, Force Multiplier. This is bad. A 7-9 elephant is, is pretty nasty. Um, and the ants not dying early. Don't buff the fish behind. That's all I ask from you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this is... You know what? You hate to lose to a guest. Because it's like they don't even get to maintain their points. But that's, you know, that's a nasty squad. You respect it. We're going to buff you. Like so. This double shrimp build is is spicy. I'm not going to ever suggest that this is like a normal way to live your life. Giraffe for a nice buff, possibly. I'm, I'm just genuinely... Uh, I'm not sold on a blowfish anymore, by the way. In fact, can I tell you something? Well, I'm, I'm probably going to buy one right now, but that's only because I'm going to sell the fish. Whoa. <laughs> to kind of overcommit... Uh, to what we've got going on with our shrimp build. And I'm telling you, like, we are... Okay, this is actually very interesting. Um, we obviously want that for the future. We obviously want this for the now. Dodo can actually be, like, an insanely top-tier get. I love when you have the game on fast-forward in battle. It just stays fast-forwarded. Um... For the time being, at least. I'm just like, uh, we need to get to a level 2 unit. This is like the longest I've ever gone <laughs> without getting a unit uh, at a higher level. It's it's crazy. Uh, this this looks great to me. This looks horrible to me. I, I did the math completely incorrectly and didn't realize we would suffer here. Uh, it's another loss, and it's all falling apart. And it's falling apart due to, let's call it optimistic shop play. I think this is, like, we, we got to get over that. Um, we want this. I genuinely think we want the Dodo to start getting leveled as well. I think we'll put one of these on, on you first. Roll me once. I know we didn't stick with the Dodo, okay? I know it, you know it, we all know it. Well, I hate to say it. I think you keep the dodo frozen and roll a flamingo up at the front. It's, it's a bit strange. This is not... I mean, we're 2-2 two and two now, and I, I'm not optimistic. But if we could just get a level 2 camel, or at least a camel that has some extra HP, like... The, the peacock could run freaking wild, man. We're at least getting one peacock buff. This is a bit of a nasty squad. But the, the real problem with our squad is fairly obvious, right? Like, if <clears throat> our peacock dies, we have nothing else that does anything for us at all. The flip side of that is that if it doesn't die, we are totally fine. And I think you're seeing uh, the, the proof of that right here. One peacock did enough to, to get us through there. That's only level one peacock, too. So, we're at 3-2... And, uh, and hopeful for the future. I, it's, like, I'm not trying to be, like, a, a butthole about things. But what if you, just hypothetically, you know, like, got me uh, a unit that I already had seen before in my life? <laughs> just, just for argument's sake. So there is something to be said for eating a flamingo. But I don't know what you give up now. Like, the camel is not great, but if we scale it, it's got something. Admittedly, the shrimp's not doing much. I'm kind of looking to sell the flamingo, though. We got one more roll in us first, I think. Are you kidding me? Like, I just... There's only a certain amount of units in the game. Why is it uh, seemingly impossible to get the one that I'm looking for? Well, I think we should focus on 
buffing the camel so that it can at least get some triggers, hopefully. Um, and we're still we're keeping the dodo in reserve, which is not doing much for us, admittedly. Well, then you're in roll situation. Okay, that's a huge freeze. I, I think we... <sighs> you're going to laugh at that one, but just work with me. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Flamingo probably gets pilled. Beaver gets sold for a nice buff. See, they got a very similar build. Like, their, their team is the team that they told you not to worry about. We actually, like the kangaroo is going to be nasty, but the camel is actually getting multiple triggers for us here, which is insanely good. Which means we're going to one tap this, we're going to two tap this kangaroo. No garlic armor on the blowfish. I think that means that we're in a drawn position and just barely. But now, this is where it should start to have a chance to pop. I mean, we, we, we've been blessed with, like, good animals showing up. The only problem following that is, like, how bad they've been to, when it comes to trying to get to the next level. So this is, a, like, a buy, sell for a, de a decent extra squeeze there. Parrot copies the ability of the animal in front. I actually think it's kind of horrible for now. Um, but I do think you can roll a monkey and then roll one more time. Freeze me. Uh, well, I don't know, because are we selling a giraffe at some point? Maybe, maybe not. We're probably selling our shrimp next, just to keep the run kind of like rolling. Um, this is still, I would call this run speculative and optimistic. Like, Amazon's projections for how much James Bond's finale, No Time to Die, will make at the American box office. Now, that's a turkey this early is not good for us. But, and I say this, it, this is a, a big but, okay? <laughs> but it really is. Once we get through these first couple of waves here, and then also the sheep... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if we can kill the horse, we can maybe do something. Seven, seven, four. I think you're doing ten damage each. Oh, because you got a level three horse. Okay, now this is where I just get mad. And I'm like, okay, congrats. You got the meta build. Hope you're proud of yourself. Turkey showed up early. Must, must. Wow, all skill. I mean, it's an auto battler. I guess I can't really be upset. But, okay, we're on our final win opportunity here. You got you got to start sending and like your your shrimp scaling, I I'm I'm way too invested in the concept of this shrimp man like. It's not actually, that good. Unless. So a hippo is how I, uh, is how I got to a ten spot last night, but I feel like it it needs to be said. You know, that was, uh, we had more room to play with than what we have right now. Let's put it that way. We're not rolling turkey build. Hey, there's the fish that I was looking for in the early game. I'm not thrilled about our current prospects. Keep in mind, we could sell this giraffe at some point. I, like, I, I'm, I'm, I think we could get to six. I think this is a potential six piece. Those crabs are going to be... That's, they're setting up for the future, which is great news for me, because it means we're going to get an easy win right here. I also don't know if they might be on three losses, so at some point we need to have more than two units that do something. Like, I think we've done pretty well to get to 500, um, when you consider the fact that we have two units that don't do anything. <laughs> or sorry, three units that don't really do anything. Um... It, 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 like, they're both valuable. You're tier two, you're two th tier three. It's probably less likely to find a peacock at this point. Um, 
and a turtle is kind of interesting. You could, at some point, melon armor will be better than garlic armor because you'll be going against enemies that hit hard enough to kill you regardless. Um, but I think that uh, for now, garlic armor is still superior. We might want to like sell a cow and get a well, sell a cow, probably sell a giraffe and get another unit out there, but but not right away. We can wait a bit. It's an interesting build here. The the flies uh, scare me a bit. But as long as we can hit this level 3 sheep, I'm not sweating it too much. They don't have like a horse or a turkey or anything. So you are summoning a lot of flies. Uh, we don't quite have like a hip... Like a hippo would just destroy this build. Instead, we're... Uh, we're, again, pretty much exclusively relying on our peacock, but it's actually going to get the job done. And it, the time has come to start building out our back line. I don't mind the, the monkey and the giraffe sticking around, but the cow cannot be there. Also, like, one... Are we on pay to win? I don't think so, right? We're on free to play? If a bat hits us, we just lose, right? So, you, you know, plan accordingly. This is possible. We know we're going to sell a cow. My thinking would be you could also sell a giraffe because it only gives plus one, plus one. Then you would buy a dragon. Excuse me, this is like, it's all screwed up. You would follow up your dragon with a mosquito, which buffs. Basically, there's your giraffe play right there. You would sell your mosquito, you would buy a cow, you would level up your camel so you get uh, more hits, but also then more triggers on the peacock. You'd roll again, freeze yourself a duck for the future. I'm not saying we got a, a, a win here. We do. Our scaling has gotten better, though. We just can't afford to lose, uh, a, well, a hippo. Am I insane to think this doesn't look that bad? Like, you killing your own hippo does not seem wise to me, because then it comes out with no stats. I think that's that's the worst thing you could do there. Lucky us. Well, from inauspicious beginnings, we do now find ourselves at uh, six wins. Respectable, to an extent. We're going to sell you. I mean, you know how we roll on this. We're going to buy... Probably buy the duck last. We're going to buy you. Decent. We're going to buy you. We're going to sell you. We're going to buy you. We're going to roll you. Now, it's mighty interesting, isn't it? We'll probably freeze you no matter what. If we can get a hippo strong enough, do I think it could still pop here? No. And the answer to that question is almost always yes. So I understand how that probably comes across. Um, but I, I genuinely, I don't. I don't. I think it's way too late. It's It would only get like plus three, plus three every turn, maybe. Maybe you give it a melon armor, it has a chance. We, we got to level it up. Though I hate to say it, I mean, I guess it would be plus one, plus one to begin with, but... Though I hate to say it, I do kind of think, well, can I tell you what I think? I think you buy sushi here. I think we stick with that duck. I know how stupid that seems. We can sell it next turn to get into a better situation. I didn't want to buy a mammoth and put it up at the front because I worry about going up against enemies who get a, a trigger on kill. Like if they have a big hippo or something like that. Well, at least we're living through our first hit here. This is a very similar team. Um, our peacock almost, almost beats them there. I think this is a loss. But uh, I don't think a mammoth would have changed that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken, but okay, we'll run one back here. I mean that 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 took a while, but I'm I'm impressed we had to puzzle something out there that we went six four. This is this is very good. Um, I would describe this as a very strong first shop. I would prefer if my fish got the stats from the otter, so we'll buy that first. Let's go. 
Then we put the fish up at the front. We roll once. Double duck. Means even if we lose round one, you gotta be the wet mouths, man. Even if you lose round one, a double duck puts you in an amazing position for round three and beyond. This is a win. I don't even need to, I, I, I can, I promise you it's a win. Good start. I mean, it's just the value. I mean, you have a 4-4 on round one. You just win the game. Um, quack, by the way. Uh, quack. We want to do a double sell here. IMO. You can invest. Either you freeze me. Roll me. Freeze me. Uh, we should have bought an apple instead. But uh, it's fine. We'll buy a B and put it on our unit that's most likely to survive for a little bit. Then I'm thinking, I'm like, I think we do, it, we might, I, I really hope we win this one so we can throw in round three. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at right now. Because I think we're going to want to sell both ducks to make our tier three unit as strong as possible. And that might make it good enough for a squad of four to allow us to live, but it also might not. Either way, we did win this round. We got a little lucky we went up against another uh, duck build, I think, but certainly I can I can live with this. And don't, don't get too attached to this horse, man. We don't have to... I mean, it's nice that we get the option. We don't have to live with it forever, right? So give me this, give me this. We get a tier three camel. I completely stand by what I said a second ago. This camel getting upgraded to a 4-7 a is disgusting. Uh, and then I was actually wrong because we got the money from the cell, obviously, which then allows us to roll a squad as long as we don't re-roll. And, and this is complete... No, that was good. This is completely fine. This is a, a very dangerous team to run up against early. I'm feeling pretty confident for the time being. We're also pretty close to our next level up. This doesn't look bad for me. This fish is going to get gross, man. <laughs> this fish is going to be a, a menace. Did pretty much a wasted buff, so... Well, maybe not, because it did allow them to trade on that one. Maybe it's not so bad. Man, that is, that is a nasty team right there. So we're at 3-0. With a lot of space. We basically have two spaces on the roster we can, we can augment here. Um, because we do not care for the otter, and we do want to combine horses. So there's something to be said about running an elephant uh, in front of a camel, but I think right now that's unnecessary. Not necessarily bad, but unnecessary. Swan is just a, it's a pretty strong unit. I would feel comfortable at least having one in the squad for now. Freeze me. I think we have an obligation to go here. It's exactly what we want. <laughs> we have to think about what we want to buff, though. Uh, and what we want to buff is uh, probably our camel, which is weird because it means that we're not getting the buff on our fish. But please keep in mind, the camel is more likely to be a member of this squad in three rounds than the fish is. So we might as well start investing those buffs where they belong. 4-8 Peacock. 6-8 Peacock still dies to our giraffe. I think, I think we come out of this one just fine, even though it, it looks a little bad. It's not that bad. Look at this. I mean, I don't even know if we've had to use our backliner this whole time. Like, a, this, this whole run so far, and we're at four wins, zero losses. Which is pretty amazing. You know we want our camel to go up. You know we want our camel to get one of these. It might be time to sell fish. Or horse, for that matter. I, in fact, I'd probably say horse. Then we would still take our second swan. Turtle is just weird, because we don't want it to override... Garlic armor.
I think we'll roll a blowfish. Um, this is not ideal. Probably the best place for it is not here. The best place for it is to get buffed. But I'm really looking for like a kangaroo to go behind this camel. I want to invest fairly heavily in this camel. Um, you know, especially every, every round that goes by, the giraffe plus garlic armor allows us to survive a hits against white weenie builds. And I... <laughs> look, it's a, it's a funny sentence. We all laugh here. We all have a bit of fun. I'm, I'm so... Oh, I was gonna say I'm so thankful we're crunching through the hippo there, but... Actually, you know what? As long as we beat the hippo, we're fine, and that's the hippo getting beaten. Have a slice of that. Does suck our bee is kind of useless now, but the fish is not long for this world to begin with. Get owned. And we're a 5-0, and oh, man. And without even, like, the dream squad we've always wanted... Ox can be pretty good. Our blowfish is probably not a long-term uh, solution for us. Um, so an ox behind a fish is okay. But I also do kind of feel like we want to get rid of the fish. Freeze me for a second. We don't have to make a choice quite yet. Definitely I want another giraffe. And then a dodo... Um, with like a, I, I think we should, I, I, I genuinely think it's the right idea. I think you go for it, because you'd buff two friends, and now things get a little nutty for us. Um, I think, because this way, our dodo is now getting buffed every turn, which is amazing, right? There's something about a crab here also getting buffed by getting buffed on the HP, but the, the dodo needs the buff. The fish does not need to exist. If that's the case, then it's probably wise to actually buy a dolphin right away. And really, the dolphin is just going to exist uh, to hopefully snipe an annoying unit at the enemy's back line and then get sold next turn. It is a 4-6 if things go wrong. I mean, we, we killed a stake there. I can live with that, man. Somehow that actually worked out quite nicely for us. This looks... This looks like a loss. That fish is very strong. Honestly, more power to you. You, you build something that it managed to weather the storm here, but I am not pessimistic about my future chances, really. Uh, so the peacock was kind of an important part of the strat here. I think you get sold. I would rather have the swan. I think a peacock comes out. We do still want to buff the dodo. That's important, because the dodo kicks it forward. I think we the ox no longer really works here. Although you could ox something and then or you play an ox and then kill something in front of it to get melon armor, but I mean I say but and that's the realization that it's like an interesting play at minimum. <laughs> could be good. Um you know I think given how important scaling is for this build right here, I do not mind trying to roll a little something like this. And then, like, this is weird. I guess I would rather stat up our... No, I, it's... We want... Actually, you know what? We want double stats on our dodo, even at the cost of our peacock for a round. Freeze the garlic armor. Yeah, because the dodo kicking it forward is, is going to be worth more. So anytime you get a chance to invest in the dodo scaling, let me rephrase. Anytime you get a chance to invest in scaling, the dodo is probably the right play. So we live. We die. <laughs> but we do kill the kangaroo um, with our peacock. Barely. That's very important. And then, I think this is a draw. I think your badger's, like, just strong enough. 
It's okay. I'm not sweating it, man. That's 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 life. That's life in this mixed up world. Give me a combine. Give me a, a give me a garlic. We know we need to buy a unit, right? We're not we don't have a tier three. We're unlikely to get one. So we're gonna roll looking for something better. We're gonna do the same silly thing we did last time. Now our, our dodo needs to get to level two. The buff on the peacock is nice, but the camel is really our, our damage dealer right now. If our camel gets owned early, it's very bad for business. On the bright side, the peacock with the garlic armor lets us live long enough to do that. And then we, we trade dodo for peacock and we kill the monkey and we live. Okay, so with that, that is a, a data point. It's merely one data point, but it's a data point that lets me start to think that we're getting ourselves out here. This is nice as well, quite frankly. We can... Why am I feeding pears to you instead of you? And it, look, we can worry about that later. Give me some milk. Milk goes to Dodo. Sell me. Buy me some milk. Milk goes to Dodo. Sell me. We could have done this slightly differently. No questions there. Rhino is kind of interesting. Rooster is kind of interesting. Forgive me. I think you got to roll for something a little bit deeper. Um, and you freeze this for now. I think you buy another cow and you, you just do one of these. Um, I understand it's mostly only benefits our peacock, which is not great for us. You know what? I'm going to... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Roll me. Freeze me? Yeah, 22, 23 dodo. When that hits level two, there's going to be carnage. We, we really need some extra HP on our peacock. Or, alternatively, we need to replace the peacock with something that's not uh, garbage. Because it's, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not doing very much right now. Which is that bad. We're lucky our camel lives, but you're going to shoot. That doesn't change things, I think. Um... Nor does that really, I think. I, you know, I, just don't shoot my peacock, thank you. As long as we're icing you, I think we come out of this just fine. It's really like our, our level one dodo. Like, who would have thought that that's, the, that's the, 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 the river that runs through our whole run as we get to seven, seven wins? Sure. I mean, you need this. That's insane. You need this, you need this, um, then roll me. Kangaroo fits. Even though it's late, Kangaroo does really well either behind the camel or behind the peacock. We don't need to think about it for now. All we need to know is we're happy it exists. This rhino is, is all, oh, no, wait, this rhino is a large piece. <laughs> um, at least it's only a level one rooster. The shark scares the crap out of me, obviously. Owned. Owned. You continue to be owned, but then you're gonna, you're gonna own me. Seven, four, yeah, we don't get you. We don't get you. You know what? That's a lot of faith you put in your shark there. But it got the job done. So we're at two losses? Two losses. That's still pretty good. Well, we, we need to go up. Leopard doesn't need to exist. You need to level up. You need to go. It makes the most sense... I think, for the kangaroo to fit in right here. 
they're gonna suck for the time being. Level level two or even like a level three on that is big. I definitely feel like we need guard or we, we need melon armor on somebody, probably. That's that's nice. Now there's a so there's the very interesting run here, okay? Because Tiger, um, you can put Tiger on the dodo and spam out a bunch of attack. It's it's really quite interesting, and it, you could even just put it behind the giraffe and it scales. But for some reason, I am here not doing that. Um, I guess I'm I'm overcommitted to the existing build. This is a loss, but th this is a loss because we're just going up against like the greatest team you've ever seen. <laughs> this is just like the stats are just out of control. That that you accept that as a loss. I mean, one of the reasons I didn't want to get the tiger is because I feel like tiger plus the scaling stuff is not that uh, valuable for us right now. Um, because it's a little late in the game, but. Okay, um, well, to be honest, I kind of feel like our peacock is not doing what I needed it to do. Instead, I'm going to make a, a very dangerous pivot here. I'm going to sell our level 2 peacock, even though our kangaroo has proven nothing. I am going to place a snake, and because you need to live, I'm going to make a gamble... That the melon armor over the garlic is better. And if you have like a 1-1 at the front, then I just cry, okay? You piece. <laughs> it would have it would have hurt because it, it was the splash attack, but oh my god, no, the melon armor was was good, but it also wasn't enough. Because your tiger dodo. Look, you're gonna look at this and be like, see, that's the power of Tiger Dodo. Yeah, their freaking uh dodo was level three, ours is level 1.1. We we did with, I think we batted higher than we should have batted there, quite frankly. That's a, it was seven wins? Not bad, man. I can live with that for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching Super Auto Pets. I'll see you next time. See ya.